So good morning everyone, <coughs> RC Heligar here, so we're out with the Align T-Rex 450 this morning, second time ever flying it, so let's just quickly pop it over here and have another quick hover with it. Like I say, second time ever flying it, the weather's not been great since I was last out with the 450, so let's have a little go. Quite cold this morning as well. Definitely a big step up from um, my M2 Evo. It's a bit more intimidating, but it just takes practice, doesn't it? Get rid of the nerves. got a new canopy from last time I used to have the yellow one blue and yellow now I've got a green red and blue which I quite like it's quite nice the only thing I kind of find a little bit hard with this is the getting it off the ground uh, and the landing it because the blades are so big you don't want it tilting left or right when it's just when you're landing. Getting a bit windy then. The wind took it. So that tail wag is where the wind's picking up a little bit. And it's just catching it. Everything's true on it there's no issues with anything it doesn't drift or anything like that So, like I say, second flight, first flight I was doing, I was literally just hovering it there in front of me, but today I'm on my second battery, I've only got the two batteries with this. I've been practicing consistently on the sim as well, so I thought I'd do a little bit of forward face hovering as well, because I'm not using my standard transmitter, you see, I'm using the one that come with it, which is the A10 transmitter from a line. Pretty good transmitter, the gimbals don't feel as soft as the Radio Master that I, I use currently at the moment as well. I have got the uh, Radio Master TX16S Mark II, having a few difficulties trying to get the files on there with the Edge TX Companion, but we will get there with that. I've got someone helping me out as well, a phenomenal guy, Daniel Clark's helping me with that. So fingers crossed he can get that sorted for me and help me out with that, that'd be great because the gimbals on that thing are amazing, they're immense, but the firmware and difficulty of using that transmitter is unreal, it is so difficult, for a newbie anyway. But don't let that put anybody off, some people are better than others with computers and stuff, I'm not the greatest. So I'm only flying this in normal mode, but is still in 3G, there's no 6G, there's no stabilization mode on this. If I bank forwards, it'll stay forward, bank back, it'll bank and stay back until I rectify that. So there is, like I say, no stability mode with this 450 Dominator whatsoever. It's a very, very, very smooth heli, very, very smooth helicopter.
I think my timer's going to go off in a minute, so we'll bring it in for a land in a minute. Nice steady hover. There we go, transmitter's going off. That's my four minutes on this. So we'll bring it in, get it nice and steady. And there we go. So, like I say, it's a quick video with the uh, Align T-Rex 450. Many, many more videos to come. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Cheers.